What is up guys, welcome back to the second player review of the day. If you guys missed my first one, I'll leave that as a video response below this video. It was a player review of Second Inform Closer. Now moving on, we're going to be looking at Inform the Veo. And I think he only goes for 16k on the PS3, so pretty much discard price. So how does he perform for his value? Is he good enough? Should you buy him? Even though he's in the MLS League, I think he's the only Italian player in the MLS League. So you would have to you know create a Serie A team around him or you could just play him in the MLS League team but anyway before I begin the review if you guys are looking for coins check out UT coin traders their link will be in the description to begin with his pace is decent nothing um, too special by his pace let's just say he lives up to that 84 pace on his card stat now his main highlight for me it was amazing this what this could be surprising to some of you but then again it is on his card stats and that is 85 shooting and it definitely it definitely feels like that if not even more you would see two back-to-back -back long shots which are totally amazing they're dipping the goalkeeper cannot do anything about them it is just so so good and his shooting is just so overpowered it felt higher than 85 I think it was somewhere in the 90s and his long shots in his uh, in-game stats aren't too great it's somewhere in the 80s like I said his shot power and his long shots felt in the high 90s in my opinion they were totally awesome and if you want to practice long shots this guy is really good to do that with now his strength this guy actually felt quite strong surprisingly I think his in-game stats show he's quite weak but I don't know his in-game stats seem to underestimate how powerful this guy really is but there is a couple of issues about that but I'll get to that in just a second um, he, you will see defenders trying to hang on to him and he's just rushing through to the goal and scoring long shots galore it's just amazing how this guy plays now dribbling wise he gets the job done nothing too special in my opinion and his finishing is superb in the penalty area so four star weak foot as well so it doesn't really matter which way you're gonna cut him from left foot right foot even though his right foot is super deadly his four star weak foot can help you when you're cutting in now there's a couple of things I really disliked about him and to begin with let's begin with his main issue he's out of position fucking frequently and I'm talking about a lot a ton of the time you will be searching for him and he has medium attacking and medium defending work rates which that means is that's like the worst work rate for a striker and I just don't recommend him as a striker to be honest with you guys I put him as a center forward but as usual he's never there when you need him he's always you know helping the hot dog guys sell some hot dogs in the stadium or he's just coaching the team instead of playing and he also has three star skills and his heading is pretty bad and also is his free kick so that is pretty much it for this review let me know in the comment section below who you want me to review next so do I recommend him I do recommend him as a center forward but as a striker if you're not annoyed by you know searching for your striker most of the time and have a lot of patience but that is pretty much it for this review let me know in the comment section below who you want me to check out next and as usual guys I really hope you have a very nice day.